Hello folks, in this video I'd like to introduce you to a new product from Onkyo. It's a portable high resolution uh, music player. It's an Onkyo DPX1. So it is the newest uh, portable device that's being made by Onkyo and released to the, to the market. And this product is uh, being introduced to the market uh, last year in which uh, 2016 and currently is not really widely uh, available everywhere but um, you could go online and order it from uh, which what I did is I got it from Amazon and imported from Japan into US um, for folks that will do that uh, please keep in mind the standard shipping from Japan to the US is between two to four weeks uh, in my case, actually, it took three weeks uh, to my door. So, excuse me for the reflection here as the product's a little bit shiny. So, uh, I'd like to talk about the package and the design in which this is the box that the device came in with. Uh, appeared to be pretty um, fancy looking, standard box uh, with all the information on that. So, let's put this on the side and let's drill into the device itself. So, it is a pretty slick design, portable device. Uh, is operated based on Android operating units. Um, so, most of you are already familiar with the Android operating unit. And this appears to have a really slick design. It type of one of the kind uh, in the market right now. So let's take a close look at the device here. So the device uh, does appear to have aluminum body style uh, with the touch screen uh, capabilities. So let's take a look at uh, the overall looking of the device here. Hopefully I can zoom it in and get some good angle here. So on the side we have uh, four button uh, for play, next, previous, power along with two slots uh, for memory cards and we will talk about that uh, later in the video. On top, we have two ports uh, that the headphone jack port. One is a regular 3.5 millimeter and the other one is a balanced one which is 2.5 millimeter balance with four post. Uh, on the other side is the dialing knob for the volume. Uh, on this version here, the volume does have 160 steps in which is going to allow you to adjust the volume level to your comfortable level. And at the bottom here, we have a charging USB port along with the data port in which if you prefer to use the OTG which is on the go uh, storage, you can plug it in here and provide additional storage. So, this device does have the internal storage, which is it's a 32 gig uh, internal. And with two slots that you can uh, put in the micro SD card, and it support up to 432 gigabyte uh, among the two. So in my case, I got two of the 128 gig uh, micro SD card uh, being installed. And it's just like any other Android device that is, has all the apps, all the interfaces. It does have capabilities where you can actually install more apps uh, and use it as you will. Uh, come with the device is a proprietary app for music playing alone. So this is 
uh, the interface to the app. So let me go ahead and talk about the a little bit about technical specs. So this Onkyo DPX1 does come with dual AMs and DAX in which it using the Sabri ES9018 DAX chips and the ES Sabri 9601K amps so it does have dual 2 amps and 2 DAX it provides extremely powerful performance for such a little device here so I'm not going to talk about all the technical specs at uh, those information uh, can be easily found online so the next step is let me walk you through the music player app uh, along with the navigation so when we launch the app this is gonna be the main interface that we're gonna have uh, and it's actually it's a really good looking interface it's, it's kinda like different from all the other traditional one um, so on the screen here you can tap anywhere to have is played or you can tap it to pause it to go to the next song you can actually swipe to the right or you can actually click on the arrow button here on the screen and this will do the same and on on the upper left corner there is the menu button when you, we click on this one is actually will show you the playlist of the current playlist that you are playing um, so if you hit back button down here it's gonna go back to the interface and we got the EQ here where you can turn it on or turn it off uh, the net the button right next to it where you can go in and adjust uh, the EQ the way you wanted it to select the album you can actually click back button here and it's gonna give you the list of all the folders in one uh, memory card if you back one more time it's actually gonna show all the storage in which we got the internal storage SD card number one, SD card number two, and USB storage in which if you use the OTG storage and this is where the music gonna be so it has several categories under here which is you can choose the folder you swipe it to the left you got a playlist, artist, album and go on right so let's say if I want to play the music out of SD card number one I'm gonna select this one it appears to have all the folders if I want to play all song from all folders I just click on play all here and it will pick up all the song from all folders however if I decide to pick Ace of Base and then is go into that one folder and we can hit play all here just to play that one folder alone so that is how to pick the playlist or the folders of your music additionally you can actually look for song names artist names or uh, what not so the example is here the search button you can click here and I'm going to type in let's say Ace and it's going to pop up everything with that uh, searching criteria in it including the song names, the artist name, the album name or whatnot with that containing that short phrase of uh, searching criteria so once we inside of the playing interface this is where you can actually go to the setting for the apps this is the audio setting so there is appear to be multiple functions 
uh, that you can actually adjust uh, DSP function, digital filter, upsampling mod, mod or any other uh, setting is all seated in here where you can go in and adjust this yourself and you know make it to be the way that optimize your listening experience as your music playing at any given time that you would like to fast forward your music uh, on the screen you can see the highlight area on the circle there you can simply uh, tap and hold on it and move it along to where you want to stop 